bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you, bad boys? Okay, listen, I'm doing these at the intros because I'm like, yo, the goofy people that don't like me, that think I'm too extra, y'all are probably gonna leave early. But those of you guys that want to have some fun and have some actual logical discussions, that's what I'm here for. I might act crazy and be a little bit wild, but I promise you, we, we talk about some real things over here. So let's dive in. Here's why you shouldn't run from the police. I feel like some of y'all probably need to learn about this. Let's, let's dive in and find out. On April 13th, 2021, Rock County deputies received information about a man that was at a residence in Beloit, Wisconsin. More Wisconsin. The man was identified as 27-year-old David Quinones. Y'all be wildin' out there. At the time, David was currently a suspect in a burglary, Ooh. a domestic incident, and a chase <laughs> from a deputy. Okay. He also had a valid felony warrant through the Department of Corrections. When the deputy drove past the residence, he observed David's black BMW parked on the roadway. So the deputy parked in a nearby alley and waited for more units. He's leaving. He's leaving right now. Yep, yeah, bye. The deputy noticed David leave the residence and enter his vehicle. The deputy then pulled up and attempted to box his vehicle in. However, David was able to back up and take off at a high rate of speed. This never goes well. Last time we saw this, it was a motorcycle driver and he lost his life. So hopefully it goes better for this man. Now he's a suspect in my burglary from Bus Road. He's got a felony DOC warrant. And he's got uh, fleeing charges from Christidas. All right. People that live life like this is so interesting. It's like you're David's reckless. It's like you're just gonna live your whole life just running from the police. You can't go use your ID certain place. You can't. Like, you got to be like. It's just so wild. Like just get it over with. Due to David's reckless driving, the deputy deactivated his lights and siren and terminated the pursuit. Shortly after disregarding the pursuit, he witnessed David's BMW strike a Ooh. Buick at an intersection. 402, uh, he just crashed. I'll uh, advise where we're at here when I get up After here. striking the Buick, David's BMW struck parked vehicles in a driveway and then crashed into a detached garage. He exited the BMW and fled on foot. Oh, shit. This man is dedicated to getting out of here. Oh my gosh, what? Imagine being the people home and this man just comes through. What is going on? Oh my gosh, hopefully everybody's okay. Oh, it was a detached garage. Well, hopefully nobody was in it. If we get some units, we went west. West of the U-Haul storage. Let's go find him. How are you doing? See, once those dogs come out, different ball game. <laughs> I would imagine. Did he bail out the passenger side through the garage? Okay. Come on, Slash. Oh, that guy's got the dog sticker on the back of the car. That's dope. Did he bail out the passenger side? He bailed out the driver's window, but I was way back there because he's passing yeah, yeah. traffic. I'm just looking for where to start the track from. He dropped a surgical mask over here. Okay, let's go to that. Hold on. You sure it's his too? It's not one that just it's, he it's, had a surgical mask on his oh, face when he came okay. up. Okay, okay, come on. Whew, that's how the dog's gonna end up getting his scent. 
Most likely. Oh. Got him. Let's find out. So he ran, as far as we know, he ran maybe uh, eastbound. Or westbound, I mean, sorry, westbound. Oh, I'm gonna turn my radio on. Hold on. Yep, take your dump quick. She gotta take her quick dump. <laughs> Ew. It's all right. Dog's like, listen, we'll find him. I gotta drop this deuce real quick, though. Oh, there it is. This right here? No, right here. Oh. Oh, there it is. This might be for me. Oh, the dog's got him. The dog is, is on him. I don't always trust what they say. Leave it. Where is he? Where is he, Sasha? Where is he? Yo, having that kind of smell is wild. Just, just. Let's see where this mo uh, went. Where? Yo, that's crazy. Imagine if we could just turn up our nostrils like that. Is this the house that they were just at a minute ago? Okay, oh, yeah, he's got to be. He's got to be here because they're coming back around. I think. Did he break in the house? Come on. Where'd he go? Yeah, I felt she was leading us right to where the mask was. Now it's kind of breaking up a little bit. I might take her west and just check those woods. But I mean, he's from Beloit. He knows the area. Well, I think he's hanging out. I feel like the dog keeps circling this house, yeah. though. Let's find him. Sucks. Yep. Well, this is, well, this is also what happens when your canine car is on fraud at Blackhawk Tech. Alright. Well, I'm ready to call this now. Unfortunately. So how do they catch him? 20 minutes after the crash, canine Sasha tracked David and he was taken into custody. There's... There's a mask. I think it's in the backyard here. It's got to be hard with all that wind to catch the scent. All right, right. No worries. We don't have a lock. No issue. Yeah, I don't have a key for it right now. Is there a lot of stuff in there? Okay. So right here. Off. See, this is where he kept circling Off. the dog. You wanna? I couldn't tell what Off. she said. She either said that it, she said it, she. I thought she said she didn't have a key for it, but that it's locked. So I don't know if that's why they're thinking he's in here because she's like, I don't know why it's locked. Off. I'm gonna fling it open. We'll let it breathe for a second. Is it open? Oh. It's not open. No. Is it, is it locked? It's locked. Okay, now they know. All right, interesting. Otherwise, we'll have to. Because if it, you know for a fact it was not locked. He's right here. I got hands here. All right. Can I kick it? I got it. Yeah, kicking the door open is not as easy as it seems. Oh. Oh, that dog. Yo, I feel like the dog is jumping for his his junk. The dog is like, bro, I'm ready to go. If it's you, him, whoever it is, I'm getting something. That, okay. <laughs> you gotta be careful about that dog. Let me see your hands. Please, let me see your hands. Right here, right here. I got commands. All right. Walk back to the sound of my voice. All right. I want you to get down to your knees. Put your arms out in front of you. Walk your knees backwards. Flat on the ground. Flat on your belly. Arms out like an airplane. Like an airplane. Yep. Like an airplane. Outside. Off to the side. Put your palms facing up. Get out of here. Put your palms facing up. What was that? 
Yo, they got the suspect in here acting mad calm. Someone outside is like, go, get her. Woo. Don't want to get on that guy's wrong side. Oh, people are coming to probably see what's going on. He's in custody. He's fine. He's in custody. He's fine. We got him. Oh. Okay, so it sounds like his family or something came. Oh, and they're, they're trying to make us because they're like, he's going to try to get you to shoot him. Oh, they're worried that he, he maybe he made a comment to them. Like, if they catch me, I'm just going to it's over. It's okay. I understand why they're trying to push forward and, and the cop is yelling at them and stuff because they want to make sure that somebody that they know is not going to be hurt. Okay. Woo. See, that's it. Yeah, some people be doing. Whoa. Okay. That took a turn. Some. Thankfully, that's not what he did. You've got to be kidding me. Good eyes. Good job. Good on her for remembering that because he locked himself in there. Mask was right here. David was treated for minor injuries, and the occupant of the struck Buick, a 52 year old man, Thankfully. sustained minor injuries. That's good. Never want to see anybody hurt. Oh, goodness. Oh, my gosh. Thankfully, it wasn't like a house with people home and it was just a, a, an empty garage. But. I wonder what he got charged with. David ultimately pleaded guilty to felony fleeing as a repeater, misdemeanor criminal damage to property. Damn, bro. Going through someone's garage is only misdemeanor criminal damage to property. I feel like that should be a fat, bro. You could have took someone out. In two counts of misdemeanor bail jumping. As part of the plea agreement, an additional count of felony fleeing was dismissed, along with felony hit and run in he violating got lucky, I think. The judge issued a withheld sentence to David and placed him on probation for a total of 54 months. He was also ordered to pay $669 to the Department of Corrections. Shout out to him. Yo, listen. Don't run from the police. And if you do, just be better at it. Like, <laughs> no, but I mean, yeah, it's tough, bro. Like, Because you end up in a situation like him where he continues to add charges. Felony fleeing multiple times. This, that, da, 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 da. And then you got all this stuff you got to deal with now. It's like the first time, like the last guy. We watched a video. I don't know if it dropped yet or the next day or whatever it is. But this dude was on his bike. He had a light out. They just wanted to stop him to give him a violation ticket. It ended up turning into felonies and all sorts of stuff. Because he, he just kept going. Like... Ah, all right. I'll catch you next video, homies.